Why is St. Jude of Thaddeus known for being the patron saint of hopeless cases? Let us look back at his life and be inspired by his dedication to God through his suffering and hardships and what we can aspire to live in our own lives. May mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. St. Jude St. Jude Thaddeus was born to Mary, who was a cousin to Jesus' own mother, Mary. His father, Cleophas, was the brother of James and said cousin of Jesus. He was born into a Jewish family, speaking Greek or Aramaic, and was a farmer by trade. St. Jude was married and had at least one child. He is not mentioned very much in the New Testament, and very little is actually known about him. St. Jude was one of the original 12 apostles of Jesus. He helped Jesus to spread the word of the gospel in many places and was responsible for building the foundations of the early church. It is said that St. Jude wrote a letter to newly converted Christians who were suffering persecution. In his letter, known as the Scriptural Letter of Jude, he warned them to be careful of the false teachers who were spreading wrong teachings about Christianity. He encouraged them to keep persevering and to stand firm in their faith in the midst of the harsh realities that they were facing. At this time in history, it meant one could lose their life in order to stand by their faith. The widespread persecutions of Christians during his time did not deter St. Jude Thaddeus from standing by his beliefs. He was willing to ultimately pay the price of his life for his faith. He suffered a martyr's death while being beaten unmercifully and his head shattered with an axe. He was many times known as Jude or Judas, but was often mistaken for the Judas that betrayed Jesus before his crucifixion. Due to this reason, it is said that St. Jude may have not received the honor at that time he deserved. St. Jude is a patron of impossible and lost causes because his writings were focused on his dedication to God. We ponder on the thought of the suffering he endured for the love of God and for others in spreading the message of Christianity to so many. He stressed upon the importance of steadfast faith and undying love for his Savior. We seek his help when we feel lost or when life's challenges seem too difficult to overcome for us. His faith in God allowed him to persevere, which is his message to us. His devotion allowed believers and followers to have unwavering faith and not doubt that God will triumph against any evil, fear, or hopeless situations. Nothing is too big for God. The many images of St. Jude represent his defining characteristics and symbols that represent many experiences in his lifetime. He is traditionally shown carrying the image of Jesus in his hand. The medallion is an impression of Jesus, known as the image of Edessa. King Abgar of Edessa was suffering from a serious illness. He had heard of Jesus healing others and called for Jesus to heal him. Jesus pressed his face onto a piece of cloth and gave it to St. Jude to present to King Abgar. Upon receiving the cloth, King Abgar was healed. Images of St. Jude often include a flame around his head, which represent his presence at Pentecost when he accepted the Holy Spirit 
alongside the other apostles. Saint Jude is also represented in wearing green as it symbolizes hope and renewal. Believers know that when one prays to Saint Jude in times of trouble, with sincerity and complete unwavering faith in the Lord, he does aid us in the fastest way possible. There are many prayers made to St. Jude whenever one faces a seemingly unsolvable problem. After his death, many turned to St. Jude for his intercession in prayer. Jesus inspired the devotion to St. Jude for St. Bridget of Sweden when he directed her in a vision to turn to St. Jude with great faith and confidence. In a vision, Christ told St. Bridget, in accordance with his surname, Thaddeus, the amiable or loving, he will show himself most willing to give help. The beauty of praying to St. Jude is that when one is completely out of their own solutions or options and feel overwhelming fear and hopelessness, there actually is hope. As St. Jude lived his life, we can come to God and get the aid and help we are seeking. Not just in a prayer, but in the sincere belief that your problem will be solved. Throughout our life, God presents us with challenges and difficulties along with joys and triumphs. During the dark days, we need to know that we are not alone. It's very overwhelming to find solutions when you're at your lowest. On October 28th, we celebrate the feast day of St. Jude Thaddeus. Truly, believers who have devoted their prayers and heart to St. Jude have received the aid that at the last moment when all seems lost and suddenly out of nowhere, prayers are answered. Having received the answers or help from your prayers, it is said to publicly acknowledge your gratefulness and to share the St. Jude prayer and beliefs through publicizing your prayer or novena to others. It spreads hope to others during their difficult times as well. Have you asked St. Jude for his intercession? Has his life inspired you to be a better Catholic? Believe that St. Jude can help. Just ask. Let St. Jude inspire you to inspire others and believe in miracles. Say the St. Jude prayer daily and ask for forgiveness and gratitude. The prayer to St. Jude. O most holy apostle St. Jude, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the church honors and invokes you universally as a patron of difficult cases, of things almost despaired of. Pray for me, I am so helpless and alone. Intercede with God for me that he bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and help of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings, particularly of what I ask for today, and that I may praise God with you and all the saints forever. I promise, O oh blessed Saint Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor granted me by God and to always honor you as my special and powerful patron and to gratefully encourage devotion to you. Amen. Thank you for praying with us today. Please like and subscribe to our channel. May God bless you.